The Senate on Tuesday tabled a motion by Senator Rand Paul R. Key that would have dismissed the second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump, but 45 Republicans sided with Paul on the motion, including Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell R. Key. Assigned Democrats do not have the votes to convict Trump. Ten House Republicans voted to impeach Trump, including Rep. Liz Cheney R. Wyo, the third-ranking GOP lawmaker in the lower chamber. Several Republicans have since called for Cheney to resign or be removed from her position as conference chair. If Trump were convicted by a two-thirds vote, the Senate could then vote to bar him from office, a maneuver that would require a simple majority. Rep. Peter Meyer R. Mish, one of the ten Republicans to back impeachment, said he feared for his life after the vote, and said he would buy body armor to protect himself. As reports swirled that McConnell was considering voting to convict Trump, Republicans warned doing so would threaten his position in the party. In an interview with Fox News last week, Senator Lindsey Graham R.S. C. said McConnell was wrong when he blamed Trump for inciting the riot, and cautioned any Republican who tried to erase the former president from the party would be erased themselves. 52 percent That's the share of respondents in a Monmouth University poll of 809 U.S. adults released Monday who said Trump should be convicted, compared to 44 percent who said he should not. However, 57% said they favor barring Trump from holding future office compared to 41% who oppose such a move. According to a trial schedule agreed to by leaders in both parties, Trump's response to the articles are due by February 2, and his pre-trial brief is due February 8. On February 9, the Democratic-controlled House is scheduled to submit their brief, at which point the trial will begin. You're going to get erased, Republicans warn McConnell, other colleagues against convicting Trump Forbes.